Every video uploaded to YouTube is then converted using a set of algorithms into a manageable size for online streaming. In order to achieve the highest quality possible on your YouTube videos, you need to follow the advanced encoding settings that are put forward by YouTube. If you're using Sony Vegas, it's simply impossible to match up your render settings with what YouTube is asking for using the built-in codecs. By using the debug mode frame server, a third-party application, it's possible to get Vegas to output video in exactly the format that YouTube specifies. To proceed, obtain the appropriate version of the debug mode frame server, install it using the appropriate plugin, the standard installation path for the core files, and your Sony Vegas directory as the installation folder for the plugin. Next, obtain MEGUI, open it with an archiver, and extract it to a folder. Next up, obtain the Nero AAC codec, open it with an archiver, head into the Win32 subdirectory, and at the same time open the MEGUI folder you've just created, head to Tools, EAC3TO. Now take these Nero AAC EXEs and drag and drop them into the EAC3TO folder. Now that the Nero AAC encoder is extracted, open MEGUI, head to Options, Settings, Extra Program Configuration, and enable Nero AAC, make sure this is checked, and point it over to the appropriate directory. Save this. Now, head over to the description of this video. In the description, you're going to see a link to download some presets. It's going to look like this. Download it, open it up, you're going to get a folder that looks like this. Head to the Presets subfolder and you'll see Hedge MEGUI. You want to import this into MEGUI. These are the presets. So go to File, Import Presets, double click the zip, and check all three of the importing of the presets you're importing. Now you're done with the initial setup and you're ready to render like a professional. So head back into Vegas and go to Render As and select the debug mode frame server. There's no settings to choose, so just name your video and hit render. You get this option uh, page and just select video output RGB32 and write audio as PCM samples. Hit next. And now you're serving these frames one by one. And you can open up MEGUI, head to Tools, AVS Script Creator. Make sure you have the AVI synth profile, Hedge 60 FPS X264 selected. That's the profile you've imported. It has this in it. On video input, select the video you've just output. Video.AVI. Uncheck Resize and press Save. Close the preview window. On audio input, select the same video.avi. Make sure on encoder settings for video you have X264 Hedge YouTube X264 Best. And on audio encoding settings you have Nero AAC Hedge YouTube Nero. Now that that's ready, hit auto encode. Select no target size, MP4 standard. Select your output. Quit it up. Oh, and by the way, on all your projects, your properties should be set in a certain way. So let me just show you that. File properties. And um, right here, make sure you have 32-bit floating point video levels or 8-bit. Because if you have it at 32-bit floating point full range, um, take a look at this screen right here. You'll see, I guess, an unnatural amount of saturation, which looks really bad. Um, so just go ahead and set that to 8-bit on all of your projects. And make sure you have 60 FPS set um, in the project properties. If you'd like to find out the reasoning behind a lot of these settings I'm using, as well as find out more general information about this topic, I suggest you check out my previous video. It was made before the 60 FPS change, and it has uh, it's quite a bit more in-depth than this video, taking uh, the time to explain some of the settings rather than just blowing through them and showing how to do them. 
The link to my previous video, as well as a link to all the tools used in this tutorial, and the link to the presets um, that I was talking about referencing in throughout the video, are available in the description. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If that's the case, do give it a like so that others can find it as well, and do check out my channel, I have some cool stuff over there, um, and if you like what's going on, go ahead and give it a subscribe.